Welcome back to On the Couch. With the holiday season upon us, it's already that time of year for Hanukkah. Today with us we have Hillel, a Jewish organization here on campus. Here to discuss Hillel is founder and tre treasurer Benjamin Daffalo and academic advisor Mark Fleshner. Hi. Hi, how are you guys doing? So oh. tell us a little bit about Hillel. What is Hillel? So Hillel is a, one of two Jewish organizations on campus. We are a social and cultural organization. Um, we focus a lot on Israel advocacy, um, trips. Uh, we actually have a group going to Israel in January. Huh. Um, we're going to be doing a trip to Washington, D.C., to the Holocaust Museum, um, and really about a place for, for Jewish students to come together socially on campus. Now, I know like some Christians have what they call Bible studies. Do you guys have Tanakh studies? We do not. Mm. We do not. Um, we don't really focus as much on the religious aspect of things. Um, we do uh, celebrate the different holidays like Hanukkah, the High Holidays, Passover. We usually do a Seder. But as far as like week-to-week -week services and studying the Torah and everything, um, it's not really what our group focuses on. Mm -hmm. We are more of a social cultural thing, a social environment for students to hang out. Um, that's really more what we focus on. Some other clubs focus more on the religious study of it. All right, so we are in the middle of the Hanukkah celebration night. Mm -hmm. right now, third, third night. night. Third night. Um, what sort of things has the campus been doing to celebrate Hanukkah and what has Hillel been doing here to celebrate? We, we had a, a, a really big Hanukkah party Saturday night for our members. Mm -hmm. um, had a great turnout, so everybody ate a lot of food. College students love food, so everybody was happy. Had a lot of traditional holiday food, latkes, things along those lines. A latke is like a potato can pancake. Um, and then we actually just came from a joint menorah lighting ceremony with Chabad. Um, where we have a giant men menorah outside the student center. I encourage everybody to run by and see it. Um, and it was really nice. Uh, Dean Jones, who's wonderful, was there to, to light some of the candles. It was a great, great... Um, I've been at Rowan 16 years, and I've been involved with Hillel for 15 off and on, uh, depending on the years of the school. And to see something like that, where we had good 30, 45 people out, was, was absolutely wonderful. It was absolutely wonderful. It was a special moment for the campus. Uh -huh. Yeah. So you say the club has been around for 15, 16 years. How do you, you know, get the word out and try to expand so you could open this to people that are Jewish on campus? I think one of the things we've really been focusing on, especially this year, is a program called Birthright. Birthright is a national organization that offers uh, Jewish, Jewish young adults between the ages of 18 and 26 a free trip to Israel. So one of the things that we did is we advertised very heavily both through their own announcer and flyers and video announcements on campus. Meetings. And meetings for uh, students to come and go on a trip together from Rowan, a group of Rowan University students to go on a trip like that together. And over 25 people um, decided to apply that were accepted and are going in January for 10 days to Israel for no more than a $10 service charge. Wow, and when they get to Israel, what, mm -hmm. what will they be doing there? They, they will be touring the entire country um, they will be climbing Masada. They will go be to in Jerusalem. They will be in Jerusalem at the wall. Uh, they will spend time in Tel Aviv. They will spend time out. They will actually camp and sleep out out in, in the in the in desert. The desert. Um, so it's a very cool experience. It's yes. Very intensive. It's like 16-hour days. You really yeah. go through a lot within 10 days. But it really it's something thousands of Jewish uh, young adults have done all across the country for tens of years. And this uh, is the 15th year of birthright. Yeah. So it's very exciting. Everyone who's gone on Birthright has had a great time. So we're expecting this to really supercharge the community and help uh, these new students who are joining Hillel and going on this Birthright trip to stay and advocate for it in the years to come. Have either of you been on the Birthright trip? Birthright didn't exist when I was yeah. a, no. of age, so <laughs> to go. So yeah, um, but uh, Ben? I am not eligible because I've spent a significant amount of time in Israel already. Um, my last trip, I was there for five months, so, you know, I'm not eligible. You can only go, it's only eligible, the only uh, people who are eligible is if you've never been before, so, to offer young Jewish adults that experience. So, you mentioned how you don't necessarily focus on the religious aspect, so there's a couple types of Judaism between conservative and reform and <laughs> orthodox, so that does not play a factor in joining your organization? No, we accept all denominations. 
Like even that. if you're not Jewish. Yeah, we awesome. encourage everybody to come out and learn about Judaism. There's a lot of misconceptions out there. You know, come learn about us and who we are. Learn about the things that Israel, you know, produces. Um, you know, text messaging was something, a technology that originated. Israel's yeah, nickname is the startup country uh -huh. because uh -huh. so much technology that you use on a daily basis comes from Israel. Microprocessors, they, text messaging, all originated they, in Israel. They just Cell invented, phones. they're now marketing a 3D printer that prints in metal. Yep. that machine shops are using for printing gears and, and tool and die stuff. It, it's quite incredible. So when this club came about, um, what was it like in those early um, stages, getting that started here at Rowan? What made you say, this is something we need to be going on here? You know, it was always a struggle in the early days because we didn't have a very large Jewish community on campus. Um, those students who were religiously Jewish came from the Cherry Hill area, so they didn't live on campus. Um, um, so we always had just like a nice little group of, of students who were Jewish who wanted to hang out together and let's do some events. And, you know, it ebbed and flowed. And then, then when Ben and the rest of our e-board came in as freshmen four years ago now? Four years ago. They're all yeah. seniors now. They really wanted to, they saw that Rowan was starting to change and grow, really become a different institution where we're getting a lot more Jewish students. And they've really built a great foundation for, for the group over the last, this is now their third, three and a half years. Mm -hmm. So now that there is maybe a bigger Jewish community, how are you trying to get the word out? Any websites or social media we could find you guys on? Uh, yep, Rowan, uh, at Rowan Hillel. Facebook is always up to date. Um, Just we, look, look up Rowan Hillel on Facebook. We're always updating that. Yep. Yep, uh, we're also on Twitter and Instagram, again, at Rowan Hillel. Um, we're constantly updating that stuff. Uh, and one of our students will actually be blogging from, uh, from, uh, from Israel. Israel. Uh, we will be setting up the link on that through Facebook so people can kind of follow their ant antics. I know I will because I'm very jealous that I don't get mm -hmm. to go on the trip. That's yeah. awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. So what has been, I know, I know tonight was a very special night for the club. What has been one of the best moments you've experienced, whether it been in the past year, your entire time being a part of Hillel? I'll let Ben answer that first. I think my favorite thing that has come across from this club so far is this birthright trip. This birthright trip is going to be an incredible experience for these 25 students that are going to Israel for 10 days, basically for free. Um, and it's really gonna, my goal when I, Founded when I refounded Hillel and when we were getting everything going was to really commit, make that Jewish community within Rowan. And I feel like we finally found that this is really the thing that's really going to really kick it into high gear and that it's really going to create that community and that community is going to want that community to grow. They'll end up planning more birthright trips and providing more opportunities to students in the future. So that's why I'm probably the most proud of it is it's not just going to affect these 25 students, it's going to affect all the students who go on birthright after them from Rowan. All right. Hey guys, thank you for coming to On the Couch Day. Enjoy the rest of your holiday. Thank you. Thank you very much. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with On the Couch.